Country, and today we're going to perform a total permanent avulsion of a fifth toenail. So here we go. This young lady has been dealing with pain in this toe for quite a while. Her nails are very thick, as you can see, and it's actually starting to hurt her. The fifth toenail is growing so thick, it's obviously hard for her to clip them. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to take care of this toenail. She's had procedures done before where she's had toenails removed, so she kind of knows what to expect today. Cold stuff. Cool. We're going to number toe up. We use a mixture of lidocaine and marcaine to do so. We spray some cold stuff on the bottom of your toe. Super, super cold. And a little poke. We only do two pokes. I've learned that I can do the same amount of numbing without more sticks, which is obviously less painful for you and makes you like me more. <laughs> it does burn as out for a second, my dear. You let me know, okay? It's gonna turn some funny little colors. And that's all part of it. Injecting fluid around the bottom of your toe will kind of block off the blood supply and it makes it look funny. One more, you ready? Sorry, I know that stuff is so cold. Some people choose to not even let me use it, but not very many. <laughs> Do you have any questions about the procedure? When it's all said and done, we'll have you dress it every day. We use a collagen powder that we sprinkle in there. Um, we have you soak it in an Epsom salt water solution every day. And where we put the chemical on you, it takes about three to four weeks for it to heal. a big fat toe now huh <laughs> all right so we're gonna let you sit for a few minutes it'll have a chance to get nice and numb the girls will come set everything up for me and as soon as you are good to go I'll be right back and get that thing off there okay perfect okay so now the toe is numbed and we've got it cleaned up with some betadine I always use a tourniquet so we have this little bitty baby tourniquet we're gonna put that on my dear and squeeze that blood flow out of there now I'm gonna test you and see if it's numb so we'll touch on you with something sharp. Can you feel that or that? Nope, how about over here? Okay, I need that tool again. I don't know why I'm putting it down. All right. So we're gonna loosen the skin from the nail. The baby one's kind of hard to get a hold of here. The more prep work we do in loosening, the easier the toenail comes off. And the less traumatic we can be to her, the better off. Oh, there's all kinds of debris that has built up under there from that nail poking into the skin. Now we go underneath and we separate the nail from the skin. She doesn't want to watch this, so I'm sure she's loving this play-by-play -play right now. have to go back and do a little bit more loosening especially on a really thick traumatic nail like this but nope there we go jeez oh that thing's thick and you can see by the look of the skin down here it's traumatized the nail bed quite significantly um, if we weren't going to do a permanent procedure on this it would grow back and look just the same way that it did so it's a really good thing that we're going to put chemical on here and be done with this toenail. We use sodium hydroxide here in our office. Um, I've used phenol before as well and I find that the sodium hydroxide gives me a less reaction for you so it's less painful. I can have a lot. It's, yeah. it's less painful, um, less irritating and I think it heals up a lot quicker actually. So that's our choice here. But either is an option. I'm gonna scratch that nail bed just a little bit. The black discoloration you get when you put a chemical and it mixes with any blood at all. So it doesn't mean your toe's gonna rot off. I won't let that happen. Three applications of the chemical and then we will neutralize it with vinegar. 
That helps to get it off your skin and make sure that we don't get any blistering. Perfect. All right. That was easy enough, right? You're gonna be a pro by the time we get done with you. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna let Tara wrap this one because my hands, oh sorry, are vinegar have vinegar on them now, and that coban will sometimes not stick to itself if my hands are wet when I touch it. Sorry. Caught her off guard. She already taken her gloves off. Alright. So Tara's gonna get you wrapped up, my dear. With the little tongues, I like to connect it to the other one so the bandage doesn't come all the way off. That's a really good tip because the baby toe isn't very long and so it slides off pretty easy. And then I have a signature. We have to make sure that everyone knows you got this done at Lexington Podiatry with Dr. Carter. <laughs> <laughs> so cute, right? All right, guys, if you liked videos like this, feel free to like and subscribe to our channel. We've got all kinds of ooey gooey stuff and procedures that we're going to